What's up, money growers? All right, so today, for those of you looking to grow your money, here's what we're talking about. Tomo Credit Card. This is one about helping you build credit. So if you're looking to build credit because you either have bad credit uh, in the past, bad credit issues, or you have just no credit and you're just starting out, okay? This can be a really good option for you, the Tomo Credit Card. So we're going to dive into this. We're going to take a look and see what it offers and see if it's something that might be viable and might be something that's good for you as you're working on your own credit journey and your own financial future. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I got more videos of stuff like this to talk about that will help you guys, especially in the beginning stages of building credit because, hey, just like me, man, you weren't taught this in school, weren't taught this at home. So, hey, you're having to learn now. But, hey, better now than never, right? So let's go ahead and jump into this, okay? So with Tomo Credit Card, okay? Now, they're based out of San Francisco, so they are, you know, like tech startup, right? Perfect place to be. Uh, Tomo Credit Place, Bay Area, San Francisco, where I used to live. This is for those, um, they built it for those who have no credit or a poor credit score. So, you know, this is FICO says 629 or below, right? So either way, low credit or if you have poor credit. Um, and you're looking to build your credit without carrying a monthly balance. We're going to talk about that a little more later. Now, this is seven. It's a credit card with a seven-day automatic payment schedule, so you can build your credit score more quickly. Now, also looking at Tomo here, it says, "How does Tomo credit card work?" Okay, so here's what they do. So they require you to make weekly payments through an auto pay system that prevents any balance from being carried on the card. All right. So if you remember, like we were just back here. So first slide right here. Right it says, "Who want to establish a credit history without?" carrying a monthly balance. You are not allowed to carry a monthly balance with this card. So that's one of the things that makes it a bit unique. Now, um, you're going to be in this auto pay system. So it's going to automatically just deduct the money from your account to pay whatever you have charged to the card. So you cannot carry a balance with this. All right. Now it says you don't need credit history to get approved. Instead, your approval is based on banking information, income, and other details in your application. Okay. So there is no credit score, right? There is no fee or anything like that. No deposit you have to make uh, attached to this, but it is um, based on your banking information. So that's one of the reasons why they won't let you carry any kind of balance is because they need to be able to see your banking information and they need to be able to know that there's going to be money in there to pay whatever you're trying to buy. Now, eligible accounts include checking, savings, and even investment accounts. Now, as we keep going, it says, who should apply for a Tomo credit card? So if you're somebody who's got a steady income or you've got solid financial assets, you've got a good paying job, maybe your credit's jacked up, okay? For a lot of people, that's the thing. They've got a good paying job, um, they've got cash, but just their credit needs work, all right? So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to show that to Tomo and you're going to have to show that you know, you're going to be able to pay the bill in full on a weekly basis. Uh, if you're not a U.S. citizen, you can actually still get the Tomo credit card, but we'll talk about that uh, a little later in one of the requirements it says, or if you don't yet have credit history in the U.S. So if you're just looking to build credit history, maybe you're an immigrant here to the country, you need to build your credit history, okay? Because you know, two years or more, you'd like to buy a home, and you're gonna need to show them some kind of credit score, right? And if you're just learning and looking to build credit, that's who obviously they target with this card. People looking to build credit, who are learning about credit, who are in the beginning stages and that kind of thing. That's who they're looking at with this Tomo credit card. Now. As we keep going here, the fees, the regular APR, no interest charges, right? Purchase intro APR, balance transfer, intro APR, annual fee, none. That's a big selling point with Tomo. One of the big things that they market is no fees. I, I think even their FAQ is like no fees now or no fees never, something like that. It says, yeah, no fees now, no fees never, something along those lines. Because people look at it and they think, wow, this is too good, be, too good to be true. Where's the fees? Where's you know, the charges, where's all the, the, the fine print and that kind of thing. And Tomo makes money from the merchant. That's how they make their money. That small um, transaction fee is how they make the money. So that way, you know, you don't have to pay any of those fees and that kind of thing. So they're trying to reach a broader market and a broader audience, particularly people who are new to credit and have credit issues um, by saving them money, by not charging them these fees and just getting their money from the merchants. Also, uh, you know, balance transfer, cash advance, uh, foreign transaction fee, all that kind of stuff, none. <laughs> There's none. There's also no security deposits, which is a big reason why they need to see your banking info is because they do not require security deposits. So it's all um, really attached to you said your banking account. Okay, so there's no security deposit, no credit score, none of that with this card. So these are the things that you're starting to see with this credit card that make it unique compared to other credit cards. Now, also just look at the Tomo credit card. The benefits, 1% unlimited cash back on all purchases. You can redeem rewards for a statement credit. Uh, you have zero liability protection. 
Um, you have MasterCard Global Service. You have emergency assistance in any language. Pretty cool. Um, you can help report a lost or stolen card, obtain emergency and card replacement or cash advance, and find an ATM. So you have the identity theft protection as well. You get alerts for suspicious activity. Now, as we keep going with the Tomo credit card, some of the pros of this, right? There is no credit check required, but a linked bank account is, right? So there's no hard pull on your credit report when you officially apply. Now, you can be denied. You can be rejected for this card. That's actually, if you ever look at their FAQs, it'll say that because people ask, you know, is there going to be a hard credit check, you know, and this says no. So if you, whether you get apply, or whether you get approved or denied by Tomo, um, there's not going to be any hard credit checks. That's one of their other big selling points with this card. So, you know, if you just don't have that much cash or maybe your income isn't that good, they may say, they may say no and they may reject you, but it's not going to show up um, as a hard inquiry anywhere. So you have to have that bank account. It's not going to be a hard pull when you apply. Uh, they don't charge any fees or any interest. That's another big selling point for them. No fees, no interest, okay? But it does not allow you to carry a balance from one month to another. So it's really impossible to rack up any debt with this card, okay? Because you have to pay You have to pay it off. I mean, your, your money has to be in your bank account to do that, all right? Now, you can get a credit limit of up to $10,000, all right? Now, it's going to be a minimum of $100 if they approve you, but up to $10,000. Now, they cannot give you a predetermined amount, okay? They're not going to be able to do that. They are going to have to look at some of those things like I mentioned earlier, right? Of course, like your bank account, your income, any other assets you have and stuff like that so they can determine how much, um, you know, they think the limits you can be um, suitable for based on those things. So you can't get up to $10,000, but they're not going to be able to tell you like ahead of time how much you're going to be able to get. But it's going to be at least 100 bucks up to 10000 and the Tomo credit card, continuing with a lot of the pros here. So if you're a non-U.S. citizen, uh, you are eligible to apply. So as long as you have a Social Security number or your individual tax identification number and government-issued ID. Okay. Now, it does report to all three major credit bureaus. Um, this is the first card to offer expedited weekly payments with it as a one of the uh, rewards to this card, one of the benefits to it. Now, some of the cons with this card is if you don't have the amount of money necessary to pay a balance, uh, your account will be frozen. It will be frozen until that money is there to pay it, okay? So that's one of the things you have to know with this card. I mean, that's again, that's one of the things that makes it different, right, is it's, you have to connect your bank account to this card um, because it's not, it doesn't work like you know, a typical uh, you know, unsecured credit card, okay? So that's one of the things where there's potential to be on a wait list. Uh, there is no option to carry a balance, which may limit your purchasing power. So some people... Do like to carry a balance, and they try to, and they do like to use that um, as part of their financial plan. But you will not have that option with this card. And um, apparently, there's been some linking issues when it comes to certain banks uh, and that kind of thing in the past. All right. So if you're thinking about getting Tomo credit card, or even if you're not, there's other cards I've talked about on this channel, other ones I'm going to be talking about uh, even more in the future, okay? This is just one option for some of you. If you've used this card, definitely tell me about it down below. Um, you know, if you have not, you're thinking about it, let me hear what you have to say. But this is just an option for you that can be a good one if you're at that spot where you can either build or rebuild your credit. So I do thank you for watching this video. I thank you guys for being so awesome and helping each other out in the comments section. I really do appreciate that. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, keep growing your money.